Right, okay. Um, oh, okay. No update, I will look at that later. Um, where are we? Soul Reaper. Scythe. Danger 5. And I'm going to prove a fucking point. Oh wow, look. The the one damage thing with no scaling. Wow, look, it's it's killing things. It's almost as if, you know, 100% extra attack speed and uh, a load of other stuff. It's it's almost as if that's uh quite powerful. Because uh, this character, um... wait, what? Could have sworn it started with minus hundred percent attack speed, but either way, um... yeah, we deal a load of damage, keep things in the big circle. Big circle scales off of range. And at the end, uh, 10 seconds, yeah. the end 10 seconds, we essentially invert our negative damage and get a load more attack speed. This thing scales only off of melee damage, which... Oh no. I'm very scared that when we stack attack speed to get the um you know the the range the marked thing to its uh five mark i'm really scared that you know we're, we're not gonna have enough damage on this thing it's, it's gonna be really scary considering that the entire fucking point of the character is to get the souls which come from marking things and this is just to keep us for the path for the last uh, ten seconds of it, because we want a load of um, range and we want a load of speed. We want all that shit. Also, obviously, I am playing with a load of other mods. Uh, none of them really impact anything aside from a few items, but. I cannot be fucked to uninstall things to settle a retarded argument online. So yeah, attack speed, range, um, lifesteal as well, obviously dealing one damage. Um, you see, this is the thing. We want everything in the circle. Which is hard to do if it's got such a small range. The bigger the range, the more things that are going to be in the circle. And it's just going to be much better. Um, oh, fuck it. You see, because already. Does this thing give us range as well? No, oh, it's because we got this, okay. Yeah. You know. Trust me when I say. This thing will fill the entire screen. And I know from experience, because that's how I won this character the first time. I know that this thing is going to fill the entire screen, because I've fucking done it. And it will once again remind me how much I wish it actually did the countdown every single time. Because I'm not paying attention to the timer. That's free. Um, health regen is probably more important.
So already uh, 14 range, which, you know, considering, like, once again, we have 0% enemies up. Um, but yeah. Trust me, this thing will, by the end of this game, cover the screen. Because, like, look, I am staying as close as I can, and I can only hit half of them with the mark. So I'm missing out so much just from that. I also haven't played this game in a fair few days, so... Probably going to walk into a load of random things. Um, no reason not to. I'm going to have to remember to take damage down items. I almost locked that um, syringe fell, I forget the name. Plus damage for negative health. Almost locked that, because I just forgot. But yeah, we are now actually killing things with the... With the passive, you know, 20, 25, you know. But we are still unable to get more than half it. You know, at any one time, there is always half of the enemies outside of it, which... We want them all in as, you know, as long as possible, essentially. That's terrible for us. Uh, speed is probably going to be good. Health regen, yes. So already, 17, which, you know, 34, or it actually works out to be, but... Uh, I mean, it would pay for itself. But at the same time, uh, it's just, no. I'm going to do it. Uh, yeah, that is free for us. So this is now two range, very 12 enemies. See, the only issue with this is the the fellas, um, egg fellas, you just cannot deal with them. Which, oh no, I will have to use the passive. I will actually have to make this character do its, its unique thing and not just build the exact same thing over and over again. God forbid. That was me being dumb. I so say this is not the way for us at all. Uh, yeah, once again, um, I would really like it if it did play <laughs> all the time. Um, I assume that's just an issue with the with the game itself. Um, Okay, I, I will look at that later. <laughs> um, that next wave will make wave 9 even bigger. Um, obviously, bigger wave 9. Plus 20% enemies when there's already going to be a shitload on screen. Obviously going to be better. Um, the toxin dealing one or two damage. You see, this is the good thing. So I can stay far away. I'm not putting myself in danger. You know, okay, sure. I'm only going to get like 10, maybe 20 if we're lucky of the souls uh, this wave. But at the same time, it's a shit way for us, so just surviving it is more than enough. Um, no. 
I don't know what that does, but it's a free elemental. Um, yeah, I don't know what that does. Uh, we do also have two old waves. <laughs> Ugly Tooth would be incredible for us, but probably goes without saying. Yeah, we're probably going to get like a hundred or so, close to that at least, on this just one wave. I'm, I'm still going to play terribly, but... Yeah, the only issue with having so much range up makes it impossible to hit anything in melee. The rare time where I'm not going to take that. I am still recording, aren't I? Yeah. I'm going to take the armor instead. It's not worth it. Uh, that is, though. So is that. You see, already we're hitting the uh, the top of the um, of the screen. Very, very soon, we will get to the sides as well. Plus, also, I mean, let's be honest. You make a, a character based on the Grim Reaper. You you kind of have to take the scythe. You know, thematically. How am I already up to 100? How am I getting more on wave 10 than wave 9? That is putting us in a shit situation, though. Come on, there we go. Yeah, more lifesteal. Is what we need there. Oh yeah, I still haven't fixed that bug. I should probably do that at some point. Uh, that's great for us. Extra life steal. You just saw why we need a bit more extra life steal, so. Um What are we on now? 1.23. Um Yeah, that's very good for us, Horde Wave. Horde Wave on eleven. Uh, possibly the worst thing that mummies are going to be absolute hell for us. I think this is just one of those ways where it's like, if we survive, we're, we're good. Uh, we are definitely missing kills. I can see things despawning in the corner of my eyes. But we still are up to almost 100. Probably going to be over 100 by the time this wave ends. And there we go. Well, look at this redundant scaling that we're getting. It's making killing things with the scythe so hard. Um... I, I don't want that. That's terrible for us. That's great. So what are we at? Yeah. 125 range just from that. Um, what do we actually get? Health regen. Yeah. So what are we on now? Um, two a second. Fair enough. Yeah. 
You see, compared to uh, before when we started, remember when we were having issues? You know, keeping everything in the circle and staying safe? Remember when that was something we had to worry about? Because uh, I don't. It's a fucking long gone memory by now. The toxin is doing literally nothing for us. I just took it because, you know, do we need help? It's the thing. Are we struggling? Not, not really. I mean, we are struggling to, uh, for the last few waves to get enough kills to actually empty the bank out, but... Yeah, I'll take it. Attack speed is great for us. Is this going to pay for itself? I mean, it will, technically, but... That does give us plus damage, which I don't really want, but... Um, seven armor for 150. Not really. Uh, so what, what's this giving us? Sorry. Yeah, 70 a wave. That's instantly going to pay for itself. But once again, I can play so much fucking safer. Because I just don't have to worry about keeping things in a tiny little circle. I can run around, do whatever the fuck I want. And it's always going to be in the circle. This is only ever going to feed into itself. You know, realistically... The strength, like 100, uh, sorry, 1,500% scaling. You do not need to take that much elemental damage to make that be a one shot consistently. And we haven't. You see, like, this is really like 300. Um, I don't know what this does, and I'm scared it's going to just, like, crash the game. Uh, yes, yes, 100%. I'm going to leave it at 4, to be honest. Um, oh, so the... Let's go, I, I really like this mod. Um... I'm, I'm going to take it. Uh, so we are approaching, uh, once again, hosts are going to be made fucking trivial by this. Because, like, oh no, we don't have to hunt them down anymore because they're always going to be in the circle anyway. What a challenging wave, I say, running into things way more than I should be, but... Once again, I have not played this game for a while, and I do not get paid to play this game either. This is not my job. I'm seeing things despawn, which means we need more attack speed, but... See, so easy. Even there, you know, 200 souls on that. Um, yep. Um, okay, so we are missing the one. Common. Um, I'm not going to take that because that's actually going to take kills away. Um, that's also been updated. Uh, dodge for attack speed. I kind of like dodge at the moment. And it's not really going to give us much attack speed either. I 
man, uh, they're, they're great for us. Uh, hold on. So another Horde Wave, which... Yeah, what, what are we doing at the moment? 500, I don't know any of the... Um, like, health values for this game. Um, okay. But let's be honest, you know, dealing, like, one every tick, it's not going to be that doing the damage, it's not going to be that getting us the kills, is it? You know, it's already, like, it, it's still racking up all the numbers. You know, 200 a wave. And I'm... You know, yes, I'm trying. Uh, fuck no. You know, I'm trying in the sense that I'm... You know, not just falling asleep. But at the same time... It's, it's just not worth it. Yeah, you know, I'm not falling asleep, but I'm not also, like, edge of my seat, or, oh, like, toughest thing I've ever done type thing. And it would be more interesting if I hadn't done this already, but... I had, uh, like, 50 gigs worth of clips of this game recorded, and... Something sits in my recordings folder for too long. Just don't bother anymore. <laughs> trying to uh, trying to go through that to figure out what what the fuck is actually going on. It just didn't worth it at that point. Man, this guy fucking hugging us though. It's a good job we have so much max health and everything. Um, I prefer the armor. I would really quite... Oh, I'll take the range, actually. We do need attack speed. I don't want life steal down, though. To be fair... It's, it's not... It's not that bad. Um, so I'm not doing one a second, which... <sighs> I, I would love to, but... Um, I, I'll... I want dodge, but I will take it. So this guy, I mean, would have been an issue if it was earlier, but... I mean, in all fairness, we're not actually doing that much damage to him. I think I'm more worried about the mummies. Um, than the actual boss. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's just a bit predictable. He's not really going to threaten us that much. Um, whereas the mummies, you know, they're going to get quicker. We're not exactly best at dealing with that sort of stuff at the moment. Um, now we are. I have no idea what this fucking magic mod is doing, to be honest. But... Um, I will take it just for the damage down. Um, I don't really want lockdown either, but 
the same time, you know. Uh, that's amazing, as always. Uh, fuck it. I mean, plus range is always great. So I can't remember if this is the one that permanently does it. Probably, you know, not really balanced around this character, let's be honest, but... At the same time... Yeah, I'm just gonna combine them all into Legendary if it doesn't save anyway, so... I mean, we're still, like... How the fuck are we on 200? You know what I mean? And the thing is, we're getting so much max health as well from this. Um, I would love the uh, disgusting item. That just minus damage per harvesting you have. Um, obviously, we have the thing that gives harvesting scaling up, so... Not that we've already done much with it, but... You know, I'll, I'll take it just for fun. Uh, take the armor to balance out whatever the fuck uh, we were going to do. Yeah, this one. That would be incredibly dangerous. Um, and give us actually nothing, to be honest. Uh, don't want that too much damage up. Um, so what are we on now? Yeah. On like 200. Plus 200 range for doing basically nothing. You know, like, yeah, you could argue that the, uh, Max health and an armor thing for elemental, or whatever it was, is carrying us. You could say that, but were we really having that much of an issue before it? I'm just being lazy now, to be honest. Now you see, like 500 souls. From that, I was hardly even paying attention. I could have looked away from the screen, still got 500. Wait, that isn't... I don't think it is, is it? I don't know, I don't know if that is. Um... I mean, it's just too late. I just want to check that that was actually five. Yeah, you see it starts from the bottom. Let's be honest, with the amount of health and armor that we have, uh, currently 32 armor, we could just sit in one spot, just not worry, just lifesteal and health regen through everything, we've got enough dodge and everything. Just wait until we get to the final uh, 10 seconds, we you know, don't need to do anything. Because, uh, once again, this thing covers the entire fucking screen, almost. 
my my hands are just off the keyboard. That's how easy this is. What? You really think that plus 800% damage? That plus 250% attack speed? Oh no. It only deals one at a base. Oh no. It deals one at a base. But then... When it doesn't, you get a shitload of kills from it. It's just like... Man, cringe internet arguments, but... You know, okay, you could say we got a lot from this. Uh, how many did we get? We got a grand total of 200 materials. Star of Waves, which probably means it just about paid for itself through the three items. We got 23 armor. Fair enough, pretty powerful. We got 100 max health. Fair enough, pretty powerful. But at the same time... You know, think things like this exist in, in the base game. You know, maybe maybe this is a bit a bit more powerful than the other ones, but if we'd have gotten the hoodie, something like that, you know. Fifty percent dodge, that would have you know hundred percent extra attack speed, it would have taken this down to being like half a second. We hardly got anything. Right, this this is not that much compared to the other shit that I've gotten in this in this mod suite. Um, I am glad that, that this mod keeps adding characters. But yeah, um, you know, if you're gonna get a fucked internet argument um where i say something from experience because once again this was already um gold before i started that run it was already gold because i'd already done it with this exact fucking weapon is how I know that it works. You know, when you think about it, melee weapons, infinite amount of piercing. It does actually have 10% baked in life still, which is good. You know, if you have infinite piercing on something, on a character that is designed to do basically zero damage with the actual base weapon you're going to have a lot of things left alive more than definitely um, so having a load of things alive shit load of lifesteal you either make you know something that relies on freezing which Isn't the worst, I will admit, but... You see, the thing is... It's, it's an internet argument, right? It's not like I'm saying, you know... I'm not here defending the fucking sickle soul reaper. I'm not here defending it. Because I have some sort of investment in this. I'm here defending it. Because I know I'm fucking right. Because. Once I have just proved. I am right. If it was the case of someone just saying. Like. Oh I wanted to go for the, the star shield. Because. I thought it would be fun. Something like that. If so, you know, I wanted to go for the, the poison build because I thought it would be fun. That's fair enough. I'm not going to 
sit here and say like, oh, you, you know, you have to play the most efficient route. But to pretend that you're like the god of this game, when realistically doing one damage and having a quote unquote redundant scaling doesn't matter. We finish the game with plus a hundred. Uh, sorry, plus 800% damage. The only reason why this deals one damage is because we start off with minus 100%. It's not dealing one damage because the weapon's shit. It's dealing one damage because that's the point of the first, you know, 50 seconds or whatever before it, before it gets to a minute long waves. That's the thing. It's not a redundant scaling. Because this helps this bit scale, which then makes this bit scale, which makes this bit scale at the end, and it all plays into itself. Is this the best option for the character? In my opinion, yes, it is. Maybe Ghost Flint. You know, I'm I'm just saying that having a, a load of attack speed as well probably be pretty good. Um, I just get this down. But this, it just lets you play so carelessly because once again, everything on the screen is getting marked. I don't have to worry about maneuvering. I don't have to worry about the fact that, oh, if I'm, you know, if I'm not within a certain range, things are just going to live forever. I don't have to worry about that. I can focus on living. And just let the range do whatever it wants. You know, this, this weapon on its own, it's pretty bad. If we're being honest, right? It is very situational. Here is your situation. Here is where it's good. You know, like... What was it? 25% chance to freeze. It's, at the end of the day, you are relying on that. Well, not necessarily relying. But you are mostly, you know, like, this is 25% chance. This is 100. Right, this will do what it's meant to all the time. You're not relying on RNG, whether things get frozen or not, whether you can escape. This will make it so that there is always room to escape. If that makes sense. You know, if you're stuck in a position... This might get you out of here, but this will make it so that you're not in that position in the first place. Once again, if you want to play it with the ice build, if you want to play it with any of these other ones, you can. If you want to do anything in the game, if you want to sell all of these, and if you want to go and do like a fucking explosive build. If you want to do an engineering run of it, you can. Just don't pretend that your way is the best thing that's ever happened. Because there are other ways to do it. And discounting something just based on... You know, discounting something that someone says to you. Oh, I did this version and I found it really fun. Discounting that and pretending that you know more than the person that has done the fucking run. You know, do I need to say anything more? Do I really need to say just retarded internet bullshit again?